Hey, what's going on? It's Rob at Azai Human Performance. We are talking about energy systems today. Um, ESD, energy system development, is a big portion of all of our workouts here, and just wanted to kind of let uh, shed a little insight onto what that is exactly. There are three major energy systems. You got your alactate energy system, your anaerobic, and your aerobic energy system. So depending on the focus of workout is going to kind of dictate what energy system that we're working in. Typically in like a power phase, we're going to be working more into that alactate energy system, which is from about 0 to 20 seconds of work uh, coming into our strength and even some of our endurance classes we'll be working more on that anaerobic energy system which is from about 20 seconds to three minutes and then after that uh, you transition into more of that aerobic energy system that's what we get into on some of our conditioning days and if you're out running on the weekends uh, primary sources of fuel for each one of those in your a lactate you're gonna be burning ATP uh, with ATP the more you deplete that energy system the more time you need to recover so in power training we're focused on fast movements for short duration with extended uh, rest periods. Um, shifting into the anaerobic one, uh, you're running more on glycogen. Um, with that, uh, oxygen consumption is the problem and the ability to get lactic acid out of your muscles. So doing more lactic threshold training and anaerobic training is going to help improve that. And then with endurance, we're focused on more cardiovascular health and uh, getting oxygen into your blood. So that's the, the breakdown of our energy systems here at Azai Human Performance. If you have any more questions, feel free to email or uh, leave a comment and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we possibly can.